Here is the Security News Roundup for the week ending April 7th, 2023. Google Drive rolls back new file limit that was locking some users out. Google is removing the file limit it recently and unexpectedly imposed on Google Drive. In a Twitter thread, the official Drive account stated that the limit was rolled out to preserve system stability and optimize performance. While only a small number of users were affected by the change, Google is now rolling it back. The company also promised it'll do a better job of communicating future changes to its users. Read more at AndroidAuthority.com. A new data extortion email campaign copying ransomware gang techniques. The Avast Threat Labs have identified a new data extortion scam targeting companies. The scam is designed to look like it's coming from a ransomware or data extortion cyber gang and is sent via email to employees of different companies, addressing them by their full name. The senders claim they are from a ransomware group like Silent Ransom or Lockfit. If read quickly, the recipient may believe the email was sent by the Lockbit ransomware group, which is known for the aggressive data extortion methods. Read more on the Avast blog. Tesla employees reportedly shared videos captured by cameras on customers' cars. Some Tesla workers shared sensitive photos and videos captured by the camera on owners' cars between each other for several years, according to Reuters. Former employees told the outlet that colleagues shared their images in group chats and one-on-one communications between 2019 and last year. One such video showed a Tesla driving at high speed before hitting a child on a bike, Reuters reported. Other footage included things like a nude man walking toward a vehicle. We could see them doing laundry and really intimate things. We could see their kids, one of the former employees said. Read more at Engadget.com. Western Digital confirms network security incident, some systems offline. Western Digital confirmed the network security incident today and that some of the company's systems, including MyCloud Home and MyCloud OS, are down currently. The company detected the network intrusion on March 26, 2023. It discovered that that an unauthorized third party gained access to a number of the company's system. Western Digital initiated an investigation and implemented incident response efforts. The investigation is in its early stages, according to the company, but leading outside security and forensic experts are assisting the company in the investigation. Read more at ghacks.net. IRS certified free filing service caught spreading malware. A recent issue with the free filing service eFile.com, authorized and tactically endorsed by the IRS, has added a whole new layer to stress to filling your taxes. Security researchers found a malicious JavaScript file spreading malware on the site itself. The JavaScript file shows a dummy error page and instructs users to download a browser update, which in fact is a load of malware, specifically a Windows-based botnet program. I guess you get what you pay for, even though the free version of Avast would have blocked this JavaScript. Read the whole story at PCWorld.com. Brace yourself for a tidal wave of chat GPT email scams. There's an experiment being run by undergraduate computer science students everywhere. Ask chat GPT to generate phishing emails and test whether these are better at persuading victims to respond or click on the link than the usual spam. It's an interesting experiment. 
and the results are likely to vary wildly based on the details of the experiment. The AI chatbots will never sleep and will always be adapting along their path to their objectives. And new mechanisms from ChatGPT plugins to LangChain will enable composition of AI with thousands of API-based cloud services and open source tools, allowing LLMs to interact with the Internet as humans do. Defense can and will eventually catch up, but before it does, our signal-to-noise ratio is going to drop dramatically. Read more at Wired.com. FBI cracks down on Genesis Market. 119 arrested in cybercrime crackdown. A coordinated international law enforcement operation has dismantled Genesis Market, an illegal online marketplace that specialized in the sale of stolen credentials associated with email, bank accounts, and social media platforms. Coinciding with the infrastructure seizure, the major crackdown, which involved authorities from 117 countries, culminated in 119 arrests and 208 property searches in 13 nations. However, the dot onion mirror of the market appears to be still up and running. The unprecedented law enforcement exercise has been codenamed Operation Cookie Monster. Read more at thehackernews.com. This week's must-see on my YouTube channel. Eight reasons why you should be using a VPN in addition to your antivirus and firewall. Please watch my video on this topic at the YouTube link listed. Did you know? Did you know Q is the only letter that doesn't appear in any U.S. state name? The mobile phone throwing world championships are held in Finland. A recent winner said he prepared for this event by mainly drinking. The Vatican's bank is the only one in existence that allows ATM users to perform transactions in Latin. Develop enough courage so that you can stand up for yourself, and then stand up for somebody else. Thanks to Maya Angelou. I just thought you might want to know. And that wraps up my security news roundup for this week. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.